Hello everyone and welcome to my autopilot demonstration. Uh, I just got pushed uh, firmware 7 uh, last night and uh, I'm out looking at the features. Um, as you can see on my dash, uh, it's drawing the lines for the road. When it's ready to do autopilot, uh, you get a white line down the middle. Uh, as you can see, I changed lanes. It picks up the new lane. Uh, as lines disappear, the line on the right side disappears, reappears, uh, and comes in and out of focus. So it picks up those elements. Uh, in addition to the autopilot, we got some new uh, new dash items. I've got the clock. I like having my energy usage up. We got a new trip meter, which you can see on the left. Uh, they've also added the ability to see the status of the TPMS system uh, and all the tires, uh, which is really nice. And then we can also see our nav and such like we could before. Um, I don't have any route now. popped in there right now though. As soon as this light goes green, uh, I'll go ahead and enable the autopilot functionality. And here we go. So as you can see, it's picked up the lanes. I do a double pull on the stock, autopilot takes over. I set my speed to 65. As you can see now, I'm no hands on the wheel. So it does not require a constant nag or anything like that uh, unless it's going to beep if it can't follow the lines on the road or see where we're going. And as you can see in the display, it's showing I've got two lanes available. Uh, and we're following the curve of the road. If I want to change lanes, I just turn on my turn stock. Car changes lanes for me. And we're back and going in this lane. Again, it's drawing the lane next to me, uh, showing that I'm able to change lanes into there. So I can again just hold my turn signal or I can fully engage it. If I let go uh, before I finish changing lanes, as I start changing lanes, uh, the car will actually stop changing and come back. Uh, so if I go just a little bit and let go, it's going to move back into the existing lane. Uh, so I'm able to stop it. I can also grab the wheel and take control and autopilot will immediately disengage. So if I force the wheel. As you can see it disengaged. Uh, with it on again, another thing I can do is I can just push the stock forward. That disengages it. Uh, and lastly, I can just tap the brake pedal and that will disengage it as well. Uh, another feature it has uh, is now the uh, side impact uh, avoidance. Um, what the car will do if I turn towards a solid object in the right lane or on the right or left side, uh, it'll actually I'll feel resistance in the steering wheel um, and it gets stronger the closer I get. Uh, they've stated it is possible to steer through that if you do want to hit something, though that's not something I'm going to uh, test or demonstrate. One thing it does not do at this point is read the uh, stop signs of the stop lights. They stated that will come in the future. Uh, it does however read the speed limit signs. You can see in my dash I've got a speed limit right here. Uh, that updates based off of um, you know, the speed limit signs. It reads them with the front facing camera as I pass them. Uh, as you can see here there is no lane marker on the right side but there is in the middle. Uh, if I get a consistent run and the camera can, can see that um, I should be able to engage the uh, the auto steering. Now because it lost the line there uh, I wasn't able to but you can see the light goes gray when I can so it's now on. I expect this road should give me some trouble up here as it loses lines potentially. Uh, I'm hoping to demonstrate the uh, the nag or the warning to put your hands on the wheel. 
Uh, but let's see what happens. So you see the, uh, the warning there? As I was coming up to the car parked, it wasn't quite sure how to handle that since he was partially in my lane. He wasn't sure if that was my lane that had stopped or what was going on there. So let's go ahead and re-engage. And we'll just uh, follow traffic for a bit here and see if we can get a, a problem to crop up. You can see my side uh, radar kind of lighting up as I pass cars on the side of the road. And you can also see it tracking the car ahead of me. Uh, that's kind of real-time and accurate. I've been behind cars to kind of move out of the lane. It shows them moving out of the lane in their lane position. Um, so it's kind of, kind of interesting. And thus far, it's worked really well. Uh, only place I've really seen issues is um, on the freeway in the right lane. If the lane uh, and exit veers off and I'm in the right lane, it tends to want to follow that line. Um, since it's solid, it's easier to read than the dash line that's usually on the left side. Uh, if I'm in any of the other lanes, that, that issue doesn't generally occur. Or I haven't had it occur yet. Uh, so as you can see, I mean, the car's doing a great job. I mean, I've been going down this uh, kind of more residential street. Um, in situations like this, it's going to use the car ahead of me to help decide which lane I should be in as that occurred. Uh, and again, the car did a spectacular job of realizing I was going straight and that other car was turning right. So I head uh, further south here. I'm going to get on the freeway and uh, we'll demonstrate some driving in, in traffic. You can see, I don't know if you could see well, it shows the car way up there in the distance and it just disappeared off of my, uh, my dash view. One thing it doesn't do that I was kind of expecting and had been was kind of show the cars around me, but it makes sense. They wouldn't really know with the side radar what's an object. This car's braking. Um, now I have to disengage because it's going to assume I can keep going because it's not watching for the stop sign. So just down the road here we've got an on-ramp I can hop on to, uh, to show you some freeway driving. Again, still hands off. You can see the blue steering wheel on the dash indicates that the auto drive or autopilot is enabled. Uh, to the left of the speed, uh, that's showing my cruise control, uh, the speed that that is set to. Uh, you see it did a great job of following the curve here, even with some of the lines disappearing for the intersections. Because that car moved into that other lane, it assumed that's where I was headed, uh, so I took over again. So it is just past 5, so there should be some heavier traffic uh, on the freeway, uh, which I kind of want to demonstrate, so we'll see how that goes here. Uh, another thing that they added in 7.0 is the uh, the permanent hold. I'm not sure if you can see this icon up here. My steering wheel is probably blocking it. Uh, but that's showing that the, the hold is enabled. Uh, I can disable it by touching the gas pedal uh, or by tapping on the brake again. Uh, we'll disengage it. And then another brake press and hold will re-engage it. 
So you can see that indicator went off when I touched the accelerator. I'm going to go ahead and leave the autopilot off until I merge onto the freeway here. So you can see it's updating that speed limit sign real time as I pass uh, signs and indicators. So again, uh, I've got the white lines or gray lines inside the black indicating it's ready to go. I'll re-engage it. I'm also going to set the speed um, automatically based off the currently red sign by holding the stock back, the cruise control stock, and we're back on uh, automatic drive. Hands are free. Uh, like with the traffic aware cruise control, I can adjust my follow distance by turning the knob on the cruise stock. As you can see, I'm cruising along just like before. If I hold down the turn signal, car changes lanes. And as we can see, it's pretty smooth sailing here got great uh, lane markings here, so no problem reading that. I'm going to go ahead and signal to turn back into this middle lane, adjusted the speed of the car uh, as I kind of merged over. Now it's going to speed up because I've got my cruise control set higher. Turn that down to 70. Have the car change lanes again. As I move into this construction zone, you'll probably see a little more uh, difficulty potentially with the lines. I've just been keeping my hands up here so you can see I'm not uh, not touching anything. Actually, going to get off in the next exit, but uh, I want to see if it's going to try and pull over to the right uh, or if it's going to uh, maintain this lane. I'm assuming because it's got tracking on the car in front of me, it's going to go straight, uh, but I have had instances like I mentioned where a car wants to go right and exit because it's got a nice solid line on the right that it's it's tracking. So let's see what it does here. So it actually figured it out, but I do want to exit, so I'm going to force it over. So the car, I don't know if you saw that, veered a tiny bit to the right uh, and then picked up the lane 
in front of me as the uh, the jet ahead of me exited and then it uh, straightened back out and was going to continue to go straight so had I not intervened it wouldn't have exited um, but it was uh, you know temporarily it uh, had to kind of figure out what uh, what it should do there uh, so very good behavior Here. Last thing I want to try and demonstrate is the parallel park functionality. And I see a couple cars there parked on the side of the road. Let's see if I can't uh, use that gap there to demonstrate that functionality. not used this functionality yet so I have no idea what to expect looks like it did not pick it up that gap's too big. Let's, uh, let's try from a little further out here. Got nothing. 